Hey everybody, in this tutorial we'll just review the um, most basic exception handling using try-catch statements in Visual Basic. So um, we're just going to talk about the general type of, of uh, catches. Uh, we will not talk about specific types of exceptions. So we have a simple application here. It's got uh, three input boxes. It, it accepts three inputs and calculates the average when you click the Find Average button. So one problem with this application is if we have three uh, values input and one of the values is not a numeric type um, it's going to actually encounter an exception and by default when you have an exception in your application it's going to it's going to crash the application so we need to do something to handle that application uh, so that the user can use the application enter invalid data and still continue to use the application we want to handle it gracefully we want to display a message to that user uh, that, that, that is meaningful to them uh, so they can continue on. So to handle this, what we do is we use a try-catch uh, block and we're going to go ahead and take this, this input and we're going to put it into uh, the, the try block. The try block uh, is where we put the code that we're handling the exceptions for. So we're going to, you know, we're going to, if, if we encounter any problems in this code, then we're going to, we're going to execute the catch block. So for instance, if, if this text block, this text box has an A in it and there's a problem, uh, we're going to encounter that. We're going to detect that in our in our try statement. We're going to skip the rest of code, rest of this code, and jump down to the catch clause and then handle it. So what we'll do in this one is we'll just show a message box that uh, explains. Um, what what the problem was and that's available in the you see that we're creating a, 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 an exception variable called EX and inside of that exception uh, object or variable is a property called message and that actually has the text that uh, is in the in the message there I'm gonna go ahead and put all this code into our try block Okay, so now when we execute it, we'll execute it with the same value. So we've got three, three, and A. And now instead of throwing the exception, the, the language handling exception, we've handled it. We're displaying a message. It doesn't mean much to the user at this point. Conversion from string A to type double is not valid. Okay, well, that's pretty meaningful, but we don't always want to display the exception message to the user. We want to display something uh, on our own. So what we're going to do is typically what we use this exception message for is to log it to an error log. I'm going to go ahead and comment that line out with a single quote and I'm going to display something else to the user. Please. There's something wrong with the input. Please try again. And then also what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and clear out those text boxes. So we'll call clear for all three of the, the text boxes here. Um, text box one, two, and three. So let's go ahead and try this. So now when they enter something invalid, it says there's something wrong with the input, please try again, and it clears out the values uh, so they can try again. So using exception handling, what we're doing is, is we're removing the, the capability of the program to just bomb out. We're, we're handling the exception. We can display a meaningful message to the user indicating that something they entered or something went wrong with the program, what they need to do to fix the problem, but also allowing them to continue on using that program. So exceptionally, Graceful exception, exception handling is, is very important to making a, an application useful. That's all. Thanks.